Good morning and welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Wednesday, January 17th. I'm Christy Matino. Former President Donald Trump is increasing his attacks against former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley as he tries to prevent her from outperforming him in next Tuesday's New Hampshire primary. Just one day after Trump broke election records for dominating Iowa's opening nominating contest, he criticized Haley during a rally on Tuesday. She came in third and she lost to not a particularly great candidate, obviously, as you've seen. She lost to somebody that uh, beat her by about two and a half points, Ronda Sanctimonious. Trump also went after Haley for appealing to New Hampshire's many undeclared or independent voters, where the former president incorrectly claimed they are attempting to, quote, infiltrate the 2024 GOP presidential primary. A group of people coming in that are not Republicans and uh, it's artificially boosting her numbers here, although we're still leading her by a lot. But Trump wasn't the only one going after GOP candidates on Tuesday. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis hit back at former President Donald Trump in his first town hall since coming in second in the Iowa caucuses. DeSantis spent much of that town hall going after his opponent, saying his loss in the Hawkeye State was due to Trump's fame. He's one of the most famous people that's ever been involved in American politics. You know, but you still had roughly half of the Iowa caucus goers that made another choice. And so that shows me, that tells me that, that there is an appetite uh, for, for a different leader. DeSantis also went on to tout his record as governor in Florida, using it to say he would deliver on promises that Trump couldn't. Whether that's the border wall, uh, whether that's reducing debt, uh, whether that's draining the swamp. Lastly, DeSantis said having Trump as the nominee would result in an election that was focusing on some unfavorable issues. If Donald Trump is the nominee, the election will revolve around all these legal issues, his trials, perhaps convictions if he goes to trial and, and loses there, uh, and about things like January 6th. And the White House has invited the top four congressional leaders to meet with President Biden on Wednesday. The president will meet with House Speaker Mike Johnson, House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell to discuss the national security supplemental that has stalled in Congress. The president has requested $106 billion, largely for the war in Ukraine, but also to provide security assistance for Israel, Taiwan, and the border. However, House opposition to the Ukraine portion has left the entire package in limbo for months. Recently, House Speaker Mike Johnson reached a deal with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer on top-line spending and agreed to extend funding into March to allow more time for these negotiations. Thanks so much for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.